So today uh, is Monday, so that means we're talking about Movie Monday, and this week's topic is our favorite sci-fi films. And this was so hard to narrow down to just five, and I went over it and over it and over it again a million times, and I had to leave off the list some movies I really, really love, like 2001 A Space Odyssey, and I had to leave off The Wrath of Khan from Star Trek, and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, because it, it feels more like a comic book movie than a science fiction movie. And I also left off Star Wars because Star Wars isn't a sci-fi movie, it is a fantasy movie. And so we'll have that for another day. So these are the five that I ended up picking. I also wanted to pick Close Encounters of the Third Kind, which I just love. But I, these are my five picks. This one I have is Wally. <laughs> And Wally is just, I think, a visual masterpiece. Uh, the the scenes of Wally and Eve in space are just some of the most beautiful uh, CG animations ever done, let alone Pixar. And I think that the second half of this movie gets a little bit of a bum rap because everyone pretty much loves the first half with with the uh, silent movie quality to it and Wally as protagonist and. Uh, but then the second half, I actually think in some ways is a little bit bolder and a little bit more moving because you get to see this captain where he starts to realize this full life that he could live and it, 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 it's just to see the way it changes him and see him battling the, uh, the robot <clears throat> is really moving and, and I, I think the ending is just perfect as they start out this new life. Where they're gonna they're going to try to try to right some of the wrongs that were done and actually live a full life instead of just being satiated so i think wally is just a delight <laughs> and it's also a great love story so that's first and these are in no particular order next i have tron we love and escape do not compute I think is a fantastic sci-fi movie. Uh, it's it's where they dive into this computer game, it prizes you. It still holds up visually. I think it's a very inventive story. And in the end, it's uh, about a person that hasn't been allowed to sort of receive the the credit for his work, and uh, and him kind of diving into this game and getting sort of redemption. I think is really really nice, and uh, it's it's just wonderful. So. Next, I have Terminator. It can't be reasoned with. It can't be bargained with. It will feel no pity, no remorse, no pain, no fear. It will have only one purpose, to return to the present and prevent the future. This weapon will be called the Terminator. And Terminator 2 is also really, really good. Went back and forth, but decided to go with the original. And Terminator, it just the way it mixes action and also sort of themes about humanity and, and kind of what makes uh, the Connors and what makes the Terminator human. All the acting's great, the visuals are great, and uh, it, it can be actually kind of scary at times. And uh, yeah, so Terminator. I have a hidden gem that I'm gonna talk about on Obscure Animation soon. Uh, this is Fantastic Planet. Fascinating. A fine adventure story. And this is by a guy named Rene Lelou, 
and it is this really amazing animated sci-fi film where it is it there's this planet that the humans are actually sort of the slaves and so almost the pets of these blue sort of creatures and how they are able to kind of rebel I guess against their captors and visually unique and in the end it has this this deeper message about like I said humanity and uh so it's, it's the heart of what good sci-fi should be. Okay, my last pick is another animated film, and it is Transformers the Movie. That's the 30th anniversary edition is mastered from a stunning new 4K transfer, plus brand new bonus features. When I did this one line that fans seem to remember and like, there was an eruption of cheers and applause. And Transformers the movie, the 30th anniversary edition. One shall stand, one shall fall. This movie is just a really, really great sci-fi film. You've got Unicron, voiced by Orson Welles, and you have Megatron. They're trying to uh, control the rest of the, the Transformers, the rest of the people, and they're trying to absorb basically all of the of those people and their their goodness, their humanity, their everything. And you have Optimus Prime, who it, along with the other uh, Galvatron and some of the other uh, Transformers are trying to stand up to this evil. And uh, it's, it's I think it's really well done. I love the music, love the animation, love the story. And uh, they, they do some bold things that you don't tend to see in animated films uh, that they did because they actually wanted to start a new toy line. <laughs> but it ended up working really to their advantage uh, by uh, what they choose to do. I won't spoil it, but I promise you if, you, if you give it a shot, I think you'll find things to like. It's not just a toy movie. It actually has good writing. It has good animation. It has good music and great vocal performances. So... I would say Transformers the movie. So those are my five favorite. I also, like I said, love, uh, I love Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I love Alien. I love, and Aliens. I love uh, so many different movies that are sci-fi movies, but these were the five that I chose to pick for this video. So let me know what you think of these five picks and what would be your five picks. And uh, thanks so much. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you later. Bye.